What is up YouTube? This is ProDemon and I am bringing you some amazing Oh wait, you guys already knew about this yesterday. Right. Okay, so I'm not bringing you any amazing news. I am bringing you something amazing. It's just on news. Uh, so as we all know, or at least I hope we all know, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, the supposed remakes to Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, have officially been revealed by Nintendo, and they will be coming out in November of 2014. Now I just recorded this video and my recording messed up and for whatever reason the sound didn't uh, work so well. So I'm just going to make this video real quick and go over the key points that I just went over but faster without all the rambling. For starters, I'm going to leave a little, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description. It's going to be like a little one page word document where I actually mentioned why I believe that these two games were actually foreshadowed and uh, we didn't realize it. In my opinion, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire were both actually foreshadowed in Pokemon X and Y. And I will leave, like I said, the link to that note I have it on Facebook. It's on my Facebook page. I will leave a note to it in the description for you guys to read. And uh, if you can't read it, let me know in the comments and I'll figure out another way to get it to you. But for starters, what I mentioned there was we don't know if these are actually remakes. I mean, in the trailer, if you looked at the trailer, it said explore of a brand new world and like an exciting new adventure and all that. And it kind of made it sound like a new game overall. My speculation, because this is a speculation video, is that it's probably still a remake. That might just be some technical jargon or whatever, just like something that they throw into a trailer to get us all hyped and excited. For all we know, because of the fact that uh, these two games are going to be released in the 6th generation, they're going to have 6th generation mechanics and all that good stuff that uh, happened in Pokemon X and Y, all those new features, which are amazing. Now. We can assume that these probably will still be the same old Hoenn, but in 3D. Maybe that's the whole new world we're talking about. Of course, we could also be doing with these games what was done in Fire and Leaf Green, how Fire and Leaf Green were the remakes to the original Red, Blue, Green games, and what happened was in Fire and Leaf Green, you would go through the game as normal, and then after you beat the Leaf 4, you had a new world, the Sevi Islands, to explore. Maybe that's what the trailer was uh, trying to tell us. Maybe it's going to have an extensive post-game. Maybe it's going to have something in between gyms, just like how you go to the Sevi Islands 1, 2, and 3, you know, after you beat Blaine in Fire Red and Leaf Green. This is definitely a possibility. For now, I have no idea what's going on, obviously, because we don't have any gameplay footage. But, you know, that's definitely something that we should keep in the back of our minds, that, you know, maybe there's going to be a more extensive gameplay. And speaking of gameplay, here's another thing I really wanted to speculate on. The gameplay is probably going to be, uh, what's a good word for it, amazing. If you think about this one, think about all the features that came out in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Think about, for example, Pokemon contests, or think about secret bases. The Battle Frontier in Emerald, and how it would sit, you know, save your records of how you were doing in the Battle Frontier. Now think about all the features like that, and then throw Wi-Fi into the mix. Because 6th generation, 3DS's, 2DS's, yeah, they're pretty big on Wi-Fi. I mean, if you look at the 6th generation, so much of the things going on there were related to Wi-Fi. You have the Battle Spot, you have GTS, you have Wonder Trade, which was huge and really fun. We might end up getting all of those Wi-Fi things. Obviously we're gonna get the GTS. We're probably we might get Wonder Trade again in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and whatnot. But think about all those other gameplay features that we would get with Wi-Fi, hopefully. I mean, if we would get Pokemon contests with Wi-Fi and we could do contests with friends, or if we could go on Wi-Fi and look for our, our friends' secret bases, that would be amazing. That would be so much better than having to like go on with link cables and link with your friend and then you could find their base and all that stuff. I mean, this that would be so cool. And even a Battle Frontier. 
For starters, the Battle Frontier might be coming back. Laptop, don't do this to me. Uh, sorry about that. But, as I was saying, the Battle Frontier might be making a comeback. Battle Frontier and Emerald is huge. It was one of the reasons that Emerald is my favorite Pokemon game, and one of the... Well, it has become one of the reasons that third generation is my favorite game. The real reason is because I played third generation more than any other, but definitely, definitely Emerald is my favorite Pokemon game by far, if only because of its extensive post-game. I mean, once you beat the Elite Four in some other games, there's not really much to do. I mean, if you beat the Elite Four in Ruby and Sapphire, I mean, sure, you could do the Battle Tower, but Battle Tower is kind of boring in my opinion. You're just doing the same battles over and over again and climbing a tower for seven floors. It's not that fun. But when you have Battle Frontier, you have seven facilities that you have to win like 20 battles in before you can finally fight the Frontier Brain. And once you beat the Frontier Brain once, yeah, you gotta do it again. So it's a really extensive, really long, and very challenging and fun post game that Emerald's had. And I'm really hoping that they'll bring it back into Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I think that would be great. Some other things that I want to mention right now, real quick. Take a look at the box art. That's a nice box art, isn't it? You got a really cool picture of Groudon and a really cool picture of uh, Kyogre. But uh, don't they look a little different to you than usual? Now one of the first things people was mentioning was, hey, look at that nice box art. Look how pretty and shiny these Pokemon are. Kind of looks like Groudon and Kyogre have new color schemes, but that's pretty cool, isn't it? Maybe they're, if maybe it's just because they're glowing, you know, how they had those lines on them, even in Ruby and Sapphire, and those lines would glow on them and everything whenever they're, they're around the orbs and whatnot. Yeah, that's pretty cool and all. But, I don't know, those symbols to me look kind of different. For starters, if you look on Groudon's arm, it's an Omega symbol, like Omega Ruby. And if you look at Kyogre's arm, it's kind of an Alpha symbol just like Alpha Sapphire. Now, I seriously doubt that Groudon and Kyogre are suddenly getting new, you know, appearances and patterns just because of the fact that these games were released. And a lot of people are speculating, including myself, there's a possibility that these two Pokemon that we see here are Mega Evolutions. See, it wouldn't be a surprise for legendary Pokemon to have Mega Evolutions in the first place, considering the fact that Mewtwo has two of them in X and Y, and we actually already found out that Latias and Latios both have Mega Evolutions in in the game somewhere. We know through hacking that these two Mega Evolutions exist, even though they weren't actually revealed. So, the theory has become that maybe Ground and Kyogre are actually Mega Evolutions. This would mean that this game, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, they can bring so much new stuff, so many new Mega Evolutions, and maybe new Pokemon to the 6th generation. Because if you think about it, X and Y, pretty small games in terms of number of new Pokemon that were released. When the games were released, there were 69 new Pokemon to go along with them. Now with the re release of Diancie, or it's revealed, it's 70 Pokemon, but that's still really low. So it's m making me and a lot of other people wonder, is this like uh, an extension to the 6th generation? Is this like, is are these games going to make the 6th generation larger? Is there going to be new Pokemon introduced in this game? Is there going to be new Mega Evolutions? I mean, the fact that Latios and Latios and their Mega Evolutions, even though we know they exist, the fact that they aren't really found in X and Y outside of hacking, yeah, maybe Nintendo wanted to release them at some point, but Latios and Latios are third generation Pokemon, so maybe those two Mega Evolutions were supposed to be re released in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. That's just a thought. And maybe there's supposed to be more Mega Evolutions as well. And since we're on this whole Mega Evolution run, let's just take a look at these two Pokemon. Because I'd really like to speculate their types the way I did in my X and Y video. So we see 
Mega Groudon. We all know that Groudon is uh, being of the land, and its team is Team Magma, which everyone always like, kind of affiliated with fire. I mean, it makes sense. Fire and water makes it sounds a bit more like polar opposites than earth and water. So I can understand where people came from with that. And even when I was a kid, I thought that Team Magma was supposed to be a fire type team, and it was weird to me that Groudon was ground type. But but. There's definitely a possibility that this mega evolution would be ground and fire. I mean, if you think about it, Groundon already learns a lot of fire type moves, and it makes it sunny. I mean, fire type is just calling Groundon's name, and if this does end up becoming a mega evolution, I would really love for it to be ground and fire. I mean, we already have a ground fire type Pokemon, Camera, which is not the best Pokemon ever, even though I still like it. But, hey, even though it's four times weak to uh, water, I don't care, because ground fire would be pretty damn cool. And as for Kyogre, considering the fact that uh, it's Kyogre and it makes storms, maybe water or electric, that would be really cool. If only because of the fact that, you know, it makes storms, thunderstorms, lightning storms, kind of, kind of somewhat makes sense that it might be water and electric. In reality, I think it's actually going to be water ice, just because ice type is a lot more similar to water than electric is, of course. And uh, if you really think about it, ice is just frozen water. There are a lot of water and ice type Pokemon, so it wouldn't really be too much of a surprise if we saw another one. I mean, yeah, we have Lapras, we have Walrein, we have Dugong, we have Cloyster. You know, a lot of water ice type Pokemon, sure. But there's nothing wrong with having another one, right? Anyways, that's my speculation for these games. I'm really looking forward to them. I'm really hoping that some of the things I mentioned in this video will be present in these games, especially Wi-Fi Pokemon contests. I don't know, I just think that would be really fun. And bring out the Melodics, guys, because we're going to be winning all those beauty contests. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully we'll get some uh, actual game gameplay footage soon. And if we do, I'll try to make a video on it. I am a little bit busy this summer. I am taking summer classes. I don't know if I'm going to be upload if I'm going to be able to record and upload videos, which I know I rarely do anyways, but it's just a matter of time and time isn't something I have a lot of for anything other than uh, studying and being bored of my life, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to these games. And I definitely know I'm going to buy one of the two, probably Alpha Sapphire, but we'll just have to see about that when November comes around. So that's it for this time, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.